There was once a time where rechargeable batteries and backlit screens did not exist. This is a modded Game Boy Advance and look at it, it's, it's out of charge. Look at it in all of its glory. A rechargeable battery chargeable by USB Type-C with an IPS crystal clear sharp display. Here is an original Game Boy. This one had two AA batteries that you had to put in when they ran out, and there is no backlit screen. So in order to actually view this screen, unless you had a very powerful studio light above you, it would look, for the most part, like that. So, some companies made things to try and fix that problem. This is a item from Joytech. It's called the Illuminator Pro Pack, which is incorporating the Fluorescivision technology. What is that? <laughs> so the Illuminator Pro Pack. Get one now, said Total Advance. It rocks, said Edge. Nintendo official magazine said, Behold a light magnifier that actually works. Well, I hope they're not lying because all of the magnifiers that I've ever used are terrible. 40% magnification and it also comes with a rechargeable battery and the AC adapter to charge that. On the side it says the unique fluorescent light illuminates the entire GBA screen, eliminating dark spots. It includes a rechargeable battery pack and an AC adapter. 40% magnification brings bigger, better gaming action and a complementary design and two-tone colour scheme to match your GBA console. Although I don't have a purple one with me right now. And then on the other side it's exactly the same. On the back you have the optional Oh my, these people have found a name for everything. We've got the OPS, the optional power system. Alkaline batteries, rechargeable battery, AC adapter slash charger included. That's right. So you can basically use regular batteries or this. And they've aptly named that the optional power system. Love it. It's light power action with the amazing Illuminator Pro from Joytech, featuring the revolutionary fluorescent vision technology. The Illuminator Pro is unlike any other light source you've ever seen before. No dark spots, no glares, no problems. The press have been amazed and now it's your turn. So what is this thing on about? How have they managed to get no dark spots? I don't know. We are going to find out. If it's as bad as all the others, I won't be surprised. Wow, we're in. Okay, so here is, no, here it is. How'd you get into this thing? There we go, right. Okay, it is actually still all lovely and beautiful inside. The discoloration was definitely just from the plastic. Please come out, rechargeable battery pack, the fluorescent vision technology thing, and the AC adapter. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to put this on charge. I doubt that the cells in this thing are still going to work. Okay, so you know I was taking the mick out of them before for their OPS. Well, it's actually pretty good. What they've done is they've recreated one for one the back of the Game Boy. And what that means is we can plug that rechargeable battery pack into the top of this. So we can either have batteries in the Game Boy or batteries in this. Either way, you're still gonna need some batteries, but it's one less load of batteries, which is kind of cool. Does that mean that this fits in here? Yes, it does. Look at that, I can have a slightly different battery cover. That fits really nicely, actually. So that's really cool. So shout out to them. And they've also got a pass-through but will it work? That is the question because I kind of thought that there was going to be some sort of like LEDs around the inside of this which would cause it to have no, you know, blind spots or whatever it was calling it. Uh, but it's not. It's on the top here. So does it even turn on? Yes, it does. That doesn't look very bright. There's going to be some glare. I thought this was going to be incredible, but I think I'm going to be disappointed. Here we go, so let's clip this in. There we go, like that. So we've got our 40% increased magnification and it doesn't look any different. I mean, 
Can you notice any difference there at all? No, and also you can see some glare, um, which you couldn't see in this one, because it's flat, whereas this is like convexed in order to get the magnification to work. Okay, moment of truth, let's turn this light off, and let's turn this one on. Well, I, look, I really had a lot of hope for this. You know what? It's actually good. <laughs> <laughs> what? No way. Look at this. It is actually good. I think what it's doing is because there's a, uh, a sort of a, a bevel, a convex, I don't even know the specific lingo for this, um, underneath, it, what it's doing is reflecting it in such a way that it, it really catches all of the light. And yeah, there is actually no uh, blind spots or dark spots, whatever it was called. So yeah, that is actually rather good. I mean, if I turn that off, you can't see anything compared to when I turn it on and you can see everything. I mean, there's a little bit of glare from that at the top, uh, which I suppose is not fantastic, but it's not always there. Um, so yeah, that's actually quite exciting. Right, let's plug a game in. Obviously you've still got full access to the game cartridge slot on the back. That's really impressive, you know. Look, it's a bit annoying about that, we can't deny, but this is good. This is by far the best screen magnifier I've ever seen in my life. Look at the difference it makes. I mean, it makes a huge difference. It actually makes it playable. It really does. It's actually playable now. Kind of excited to see if this rechargeable battery is still going to work after all these years. I highly doubt it. It's really difficult to look through the viewfinder and uh, play this game, by the way, but yeah, I'm bad at it anyway. There is one other downside to this, and that is that it's huge. <laughs> it is absolutely ginormous. I mean, look at the difference, um, and you're really not getting a better experience out of this than you are of that. Um, so yeah, that is a bit of a downside. I think it's because it's taking two AA batteries. Uh, there's no way there's actually a lot going on inside here because it's just a little uh, strip of well, I don't know what that is, fluorescent vision. So the only other thing to try is the rechargeable battery pack, which I don't think is gonna work um, because usually those cells die after such a long time, but I imagine back in the day it would have worked. Well, it's kind of on the warm side, so that must mean that it's taken some sort of a charge. Okay, let's see, does it still work? No. <laughs> let's maybe try it up here and see if that works. Oh, I mean, look, it does actually kind of still work a tiny little bit. Um, the other thing you can do, if you don't have any batteries and you're playing from home, you can just plug it directly into the mains. Um, I thought that was recharging the battery. I don't think that's the case. You can still plug it in and uh, recharge it and play at the same time, but that's kind of pointless. You might as well just plug it into the mains. But look, we're beating around the bush here. This thing works. I'm very, very impressed with it. I have to say, it is huge. There's no denying the fact that it is absolutely massive, but it works very well. That is the first magnifier I have ever, ever used and light as well on the screen that actually has ever worked. Um, I found this on eBay. I'm not gonna be able to link it, unfortunately, because it was just some new old stock that some individual was selling, but it's really cool. I mean, it is massive and it removes a lot of the portability of the device. Clips into the uh, screw posts, by the way, I didn't mention that before, um, but it does work and that is something that is very impressive. So big thank you to Joytech for doing something well. <laughs> I don't remember the company very well. I'm fairly certain it's quite a low-end company, but they've achieved something which a lot of other people couldn't achieve. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. I always find these accessories rather interesting. If you do as well, please leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Massive thank you, by the way, for 300,000 subscribers. That is unreal. If you got this far in the video, write Joytech is purple and I'll heart every comment. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.